going on guys this is Marcus you know me as a nomad thrifter hope you're doing okay today so I wanted to do a follow-up on yesterday's video I didn't go too much into detail on the story but uh, some other stuff has happened with Poshmark and the cancellation so I thought that I'd actually just make a video on it um, but you will see that I do not have my normal um, or I'm not in my normal area to do videos, so I'm outside of my house right now playing ball with my dogs. Here's my youngest. Her name is Pegasus. She's a little pity. Um, we found her on a post outside of a bar a few years ago, and uh, we decided to keep her, and she's been part of the family ever since. Right, baby girl? Right now she's all focused. She likes playing. She likes playing with her her ball she has a whole bunch but she likes this she likes this one that's all beat up I don't know why you ready baby here you go good girl come here Twee. and here's here's our Otis his name is Twitter just like the social media site he is a lab uh, terrier mix uh, he is uh, 10 years old and unfortunately the poor guy has cancer he has mast cell tumors uh, we've had uh, we've had him removed uh, one came back he has an appointment um, he has an appointment with the vet this Thursday uh, but he is doing chemo um, but uh, yeah it's 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 sad yeah the mast cell tumors uh, they just keep on popping back but he seems to be in good spirits and he's my he's my best friend I love him a lot all right, guys, so I'm going to go inside and let's go ahead and talk about uh, and we'll talk about uh, what happened on Poshmark on um, it's actually two orders from the same person that uh, they canceled one and uh, we'll, we'll just get into it. All right, guys, so we are here where I make the videos. I hope you enjoyed the dogs they are so sweet. Ah, I love them so much. Um, so yesterday I uploaded a video, it was kind of a multi, multi thing video. I, I did a what sold on Poshmark. Um, uh, just go check it out. It, it's a pretty good video. Um, but today's video, I want to follow up on a topic that I, um, went over yesterday only because I received something back from Poshmark about the situation. So let's go ahead and discuss it. Okay. Today when I discussed this, I didn't put up any screenshots just to, due to privacy, but I, I think at this you know point it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so long story short, I the people who know me who watch my channel, I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. Those are the platforms I sell on. And I do I do source at multiple places. A lot of new stuff I get, I will find on, you know, like stores like Walmart, Target, Amazon. If I find something that's undervalued, I'll purchase it and I'll resell it on one of the platforms I'm on. Um, but also sometimes I will source stuff off of the platforms I'm on. Like I might find something on eBay or Poshmark or Macari. Um, if, I, if I find it and it's undervalued, I'll purchase it and I'll resell it. Um, I don't do it as much anymore because I think, or at least in my experience, um, it used to be a lot of people would sell on some of these platforms just to get rid of junk that they have around the house. Makes sense. And I, I believe a lot of platforms were really intended for that purpose, like Poshmark and Macari. Um, but I don't want to say lately, uh, because it's been building up, but it's harder to find, um, stuff on the cheap on these sites because I feel a lot of people have jumped on that reseller bandwagon if you want to call it that um so I don't find too much stuff anymore um but with that being said so I was on Poshmark and I found a um, a seller who had some items that I wanted to buy so I bought three items off them the reason for it I only really wanted one but um the nice thing with Poshmark is their shipping for up to, I, it should be five pounds, um, up to five pounds. It's only one shipping um, cost 
whereas like let's say eBay or Macari or some of the other platforms, um, you basically have to modify your um, your listing to include the products they want in order to bundle. They're not they're not user friendly when it comes to bundling. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, but Poshmark, uh, they did a good job on it. Um, so with this lady, I'm going to, let me, let's see here. Give me one second. So to the, it should be to the right this time. Um, you will see, I purchased three items from this person. I purchased some, uh, Nike golf shoes, a pair of Joe's jeans and, uh, this brush holder. Um, as you can see, it's $30 and then the shipping. I didn't send them, I didn't uh, send an offer on it just because I feel that that was reasonably priced. It's a pet peeve of mine when something, you know, whenever I have a buyer coming at me, when I have something that's just a sweet deal and they try to get it either like an even sweeter deal, maybe it's, maybe it's human nature. I don't know, but I don't do it and I don't accept those kind of offers. You know, if it's a good deal, you know, buy it. And I saw this was a good deal. So I, I jumped on it. Um, those Nike golf shoes themselves, I would have resold for $55, $65. They might've sat around now just because it is winter time. Uh, but summertime I do sell quite a bit of golf shoes. Um, and I love, I love sourcing them. Uh, but you don't find them as much anymore in the wild. You used to find a whole bunch of them at places like uh, Burlington, uh, Ross's and Marshall's. Um, I have not seen them in great quantities. Probably would, probably uh, probably been a year since I've really seen any any really big uh, um, amounts of golf shoes. You will see like you know a couple here and there. But I like them. Joe's jeans. Um, they're a pricey jean. Um, a lot of them will sell for a hundred to two hundred dollars, um, so I added it again. It really wasn't what I was going for initially, but because of the whole bundling, it just made sense for me to buy a couple things. And then the uh, brush holder, I thought I'd give that as a gift, right? So the um, lady sends me a um, sends me a message. Well, technically, she canceled the order. Um, and I just reached out because here I'll, I'll right up here will be um, her message. Um, I put, I saw you canceled my order this morning. Are you putting these shoes back up? And I, I, I don't have the other message um, on me, but on the cancellation it says she misplaced. Um, uh, she misplaced the uh, jeans. Uh, not a big deal. Unfortunately, that is a flaw on Poshmark. Um, you, you can't modify anything after the sell happens. So, it, you know, um, so I wish that they would change that. So I, uh, so it made sense. I got it. Um, she writes back, yes, I'm sorry. I thought they'd let you know the reason I canceled. It was because I couldn't find the jeans. I couldn't um, remember where I stored them. That's fine. This is a closet seller selling stuff out of their closet. You know what? It, it happens. You're not full-time. They're not part-time at this. It's just side income kind of thing. Um, so I was like, oh, no worries. Are you going to repost the golf shoe? She pulls stuff back up. So then I went ahead and I repurchased them. So here's a picture of the repurchase. They just say copy on there and it's just a brush holder and the Nike golf shoes. So mine it was 2645 um all together. That actually doesn't even sound right. Shipping should have been higher, but but no biggie, right? So then So then uh she writes back I sincerely apologize. I'm going to have to cancel this order again. The shoes that are in the picture are also missing. I can upload the ones I thought were those. If you choose one of those, I can send either one for the same price. Uh, a little jumbled, but basically wanting to swap it. If not, I can cancel the order again. I sincerely apologize. I'm in the process of moving. have no idea how I got all this stuff mixed up. Okay. Again, stuff happens. You're probably like, hey, Marcus you know what? 
it didn't work out the first time, you should realize, you know, that this was a red flag. So yes, it is shame on me, right? So I did, I messaged uh, Poshmark, I emailed them, just letting them know that, uh, hey, you know what, this happened. Well, actually, let me rewind a little bit. So, um, so that's fine. It is, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. But when I went to go respond, it wouldn't let me. They blocked me. This lady blocked me. And she actually didn't even cancel the order. So the order's pending out there. I can't do anything. I can't reach out to the person. So I reached out to Macari. I wrote, or not Macari, Poshmark. I wrote them, let them know what happens. And I will say that Poshmark's customer service has gone leaps and bounds from the beginning of the platform. Um, I'd probably say out of eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Macari hands down is the worst customer service. Um, you might as well not even address anything with them. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's a staffing issue. Maybe it's just, a, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Um, it's not just me. You ask anybody who sells on a platform and I'll be their number one gripe is their customer service is just terrible. Um, Poshmark actually used to be the same way, but they actually went public. Um, and ever since their, their site's better, uh, customer service is better. They've actually invested money into their, their structure, which is nice. Kudos on them. Um, but in, with it being the holiday season, this could be, um, a little bit of the issue. But what I've noticed if when I reach out to Poshmark, sometimes they're not thorough. They're nice. And I do appreciate that being nice. Sometimes these platforms, it's almost like a sarcastic, sarcastic niceness that they, that they shoot at you because they don't really care. Um, I will say that in my experience, eBay probably has the best customer service only because you can, if you really want to, you can actually talk to a live person, right? Uh, where unfortunately, um, Poshmark and Macari, uh, you have to send them an email or something through the app. So here uh, you'll see, here's what uh, Poshmark responds back. Hi, Marcus. Thank you for your kind kindness and patience uh, towards us during the busy holiday season. We kindly ask that you please accept our sincere apologies for this inconvenience caused by the situation. Um, at this time, Poshmark is unable to cancel the order on your behalf unless the seller does not ship 10 days after the order was placed. Uh, we do understand that you have reached out to the seller. We kindly ask that you provide us with a screenshot. I already supplied them screenshots on the first time. Um, that's why I'm saying they're not, you know, they're not thorough. And it could be because they're just getting a lot of stuff in or trying to get through it, you know. But uh, in this case, they were not thorough because all the information that they needed, I supplied them the first time around because I know how this goes. Uh, in the event that uh, you do not receive a uh, shipping update by January 2nd. Your order can be canceled through your uh, Poshmark account by visiting our page. You can see all that stuff. Unfortunately, I, that's when you do that cancel, even though you're not gonna get in trouble, but it does go, it does give you a little ding on your, on your record. So you really don't wanna do that. Um, so I did uh, send them a message back um, and I basically um, put in the screenshots that I already sent them. Just tell them, you know, that I already, I don't have this on here. I'm sorry um, what I sent them. But basically, it, it's me saying, I already sent you all the information that you requested. Um, but here they are again, uh, kind of thing. So hopefully something happens um, with it. And the reason I'm making this, it's not, I'm not really too upset, but I'm just letting you know um, if you're setting, you know, where you can set these expectations, realize that these platforms, you know, they are busy and they're a lot of times you're going to have to put a little more effort into it. It's not going to be you send a message and then, you know, everything's all good. Sometimes you have to go back and forth. Unfortunately, um, you know, this whole situation happened, you know, hopefully you just don't buy from this buyer that I, um, that I'm talking about, uh, only because, you know, you're probably not going to get, uh, the order and, uh, well, you know, and then that's, that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to go over this. It's just an update from yesterday. Um, if this doesn't, 
workout normally what i would say and which i'm not going to do just because this is kind of something that i really don't care about yeah i have some funds out there in limbo right now but it'll all come back um i will say though if you do have issues and you can't get an answer via like let's say poshmark or mercari or even ebay do not be afraid to use the better business bureau i've used them many times on both poshmark and mercari and I, I do have really good outcomes. I don't think I've had one issue that was not um, that was not um, uh, taken care of via the Better Business Bureau. Um, these sites they don't like that kind of. Uh, um, I don't really know what the word's going to be, but they don't like to be uh, viewed by a third party. So therefore, it seems like they uh, tend to be more understanding and more willing to uh, help you out and actually look at the situation versus, you know, going through it really quickly um, on their end. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down here. Um, if you love my dogs, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> but hey guys, I'll talk to you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.